How? The, the, the eggs. They're done. Thank you, Sonny. Uh, snake! Oh. So, back from the dead? I don't remember the sun being so flat. <laughs> Sorry. I'll dig in right away, Sonny. <laughs> and would you make some for Snake, too? PMC soldiers all went haywire en masse, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. She was there. Naomi was at Liquid's side. Otacon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you were holding. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. Uh, um, here you go. Uh, thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. your nicotine intake. <sighs> Sonny. <sighs> you really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. The data's been quarantined. 
No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's, and I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. Snake, I'll make this quick. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. But their design is derived from that of the first generation. And the basic technology is still the same. First generation? I was the one who created the first generation. A nanomachine colony, part of which was Fox Die. Nine years ago, at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Die was incorporated, inherited, really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Die works. <laughs> Liquid's found a loophole he can use to get into the system. Preparations for his insurrection are nearly complete. There's no time to waste. Snake, hurry! Naomi sent her location data in a separate file. that it's a type of encrypted data sunny decoded it for us remember now this is data from the soliton radar you used at shadow moses i'm guessing naomi wants us to know the message truly is from her sending the map data in soliton radar format pretty clever and Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The, the data she sent was 4D sound data. I, I don't know how Solitone radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah, I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. But there's no actual proof. There's an ongoing skirmish between a new regime put into power by PMCs and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. The Rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. It's the quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamon, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven. Or it could be a trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sonny trace the origin of Naomi's mail. The address is fake, but Sonny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible, though. Colonel. Where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of Liquid. 
I'm sure Arsak is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From there on, Snake, it'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. Hmm. Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Patriot, you mean? The data we got from Arsenal Gear was a load of crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. If the purpose of this battlefield control system is to control IDs, it fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. Now, with the media and global opinion under complete control, not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the outer heaven Big Boss envisioned is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now. Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. He must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake, here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid's safe house. 
According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano-machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low-blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano-machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. That was... Vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up... Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. 
not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for her older men. Hmm. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Huh. No. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict between the PMCs and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sunny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. Huh. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry. I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. This is HQ. We're under Gather Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution.
company. Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary! Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity. All without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss, and one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah, lucky me, huh? <laughs> now I see why Merrill was so disgusted. Merrill said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Merrill the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Merrill and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Merrill wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. Huh. Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice.
What's on your mind? Just checking in. I'm impressed, Snake. You're keeping your psych up better than I expected. Maybe you were right about not needing my help. <laughs> Snake, the gauge below your life gauge is your psych gauge. Yeah, you told me about that. Then you'll hear it again. The psych gauge affects the rate at which your life gauge recovers. In other words, how fast your wounds heal. It also greatly influences how well you perform various actions. When your psych gauge is full, your life recovers quickly and you shouldn't have any problems doing what you need to do. Remember, your body isn't the only thing driving your performance. Your mind is every bit as important. Hey, I don't let my mental state affect my combat efficiency. You may think that, Snake, but the truth is, you're... you're not as young as you used to be. Hmm. <laughs> Could've fooled me. It's your psych that's keeping you alive inside. So you better take it seriously. Keep a close eye on your psych gauge. All right, all right. doing here? Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this... 
Jack. Jack is dead. Snake, I'm at your side. Wait. Yes, Snake? Just here for my checkup. Good for you, Snake. You're taking great care of your psych. No worries on my end. Mm, glad to hear it. Snake, your psych gauge is affected by the conditions you're in. Staying in a place that's too hot or too cold or being exposed to combat conditions for extended periods causes stress to build up in your body and mind. The more tension you've accumulated, the more your psych gauge decreases. As the gauge decreases, it starts to negatively affect your performance. Your hands start to shake and your life gauge recovers more slowly. Vision gets blurry and you can't make out your targets. All of these things impair your ability to complete the mission. So be sure and keep an eye on your sight gauge at all times. Okay! Oh. Who? It's you. Careful! Let's go! Okay! Oh man, am I glad to get some company.
You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. <laughs> Figures, the B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. You never heard of them? They're Beauty and the Beast. Together they're called the B and B Corps. They're a squad of enhanced female soldiers, belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female? Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They're run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drebin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named, uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. Uh, old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Badly. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post traumatic damage their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. Transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Four B&Bs have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, the Master of Mimicry, the Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, the 
Mantis is my control. Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah. There used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound unit. And they've got you in their sights. <laughs> Shit. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Driven. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no patriot. Oh, you can say patriot. I guess that means you're clean, right? The nano machines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formless. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning, but now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple, information processing system. An AI. Hmm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core AI that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. It's all backed up by a foolproof control system. So not even yours truly can sneak inside the Patriots' AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone found a way? If they could fool the IDS. I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens, a haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super-rich would open bank accounts in countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where everybody's DNA and personal info is totally controlled by the nanomachines inside their bodies. Won't be long before people start using havens to escape from ID control. I guess you could say my gun laundering kind of borrows from the Haven concept, after a fashion. Even so, good luck finding a way to access the Patriots' AIs from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Get your ass back inside. Now! I have 
you.
Snake, can you hear me? This is Jack, isn't it? I am Raiden. Jack is no more. Where are you now? I'm right beside you. Raiden, where have you been all this time? What have you been doing? On a mission. Finding something. For someone. Finding what? The corpse. Of Big Boss. What? I was asked to do this in exchange for Sonny's location. Liquid? No. The leader of a small resistance group. Her followers call her Matka Pluku. Matka Pluku. Big Mama. <clears throat> we'll finish this later. I'll follow your trail and catch up with you. Wait. What about Big Boss's body? It's with her now. Her. What's going on, Snake? Rose, I just got a call from Raiden. It sounds like he's close by. Jack? Yeah. Did... did he seem okay? Yeah, as far as I could tell from his voice. Really? Uh, that's great. Snake, I have a favor to ask. What? Don't let him know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the Big Shell incident, he became unstable. Memories began to resurface from his childhood when he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that, the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And when he did, he'd be dead drunk, sometimes covered in cuts and bruises. Roy was worried he was Jack's commanding officer, but Jack just avoided him. I was all alone, and Roy was so kind to me. He's the one who encouraged me to become a counselor. I know it sounds like I'm making excuses, but I needed to get over it, to move on with my life. I'm worried about him, of course, but I'm also afraid of him. All right. I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you, Snake.
headshot.
Back me up. We got company. Just my magic. 